G'day, Fairy Meadow Youth. Roger here. Welcome to the Bible Bit for tonight's online version of Fairy Meadow Youth. We're glad you're here. I'm going to read a short passage from Luke chapter 18 and then speak to it quickly and let you guys kick it around together in the comments. Let's pray as we start. Heavenly Father, thanks for speaking to us through your word, the Bible. Please help us to understand what it's like to be little children when it comes to faith. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, no one likes being treated like a baby. You know the last time as a teenager someone treated you like a little kid, told you you couldn't do something or didn't treat you like you were able to make your own decisions? That's frustrating. Um, today in Luke 18, we hear a, a passage where Jesus says, you've got to accept Jesus like a little child if you want to be part of God's family. Now we're going to think about what that means together. Let me read the passage for you first of all. Uh, actually, congratulations, have a Milky Way for listening so well so far. Good job. Oh, you too. And you can have one as well. Good. And let's see if I can get one in the net. Oh, denied. Okay. Luke 18 from verse 15 says, People were bringing babies to Jesus to have him touch them. When the disciples saw this, they rebuked the people. But Jesus called the children to him and said, Let the little children come to me, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. There's a, a comment that Jesus makes, let the little children come to me and don't hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to people like little children. That's verse 16. The first thing to say is, there's something about being a kid that God loves. There's something about being a kid that God loves. That is, kids are dependent now, I know that you guys are getting a bit older, but uh, little kids, they need help with everything. They need their parents to keep them away from danger. They need their parents to feed them. They need their parents to tell them what to do every part of the day. I'm talking kids who aren't at preschool yet. Little kids. Jesus says there's something about being a kid like that that God loves. In fact, it's necessary to be like that with God if you want to be part of his kingdom. Now, if you don't want to be part of God's kingdom, that's a decision you can make. But the prerequisite, Jesus says, the thing you need to be part of the kingdom is to come to God like a little kid. One who says, Daddy, help. Uh, when our kids were little, no, I'm not going to tell that story because it's too embarrassing. Sorry, Josh. Have a lolly because I don't tell stories about your youth group. Okay. Uh, that's the first thing that uh, Jesus says, you've got to come to God like a kid, that is to trust him, to acknowledge that he knows better than you. And I want to say that's a bit hard. Uh, I hate it when people think they know better than me because I'm proud. And I suspect you're a bit the same way. Uh, that's the first thing Jesus says, you've got to come to God like a little kid. Uh, and verse 17 says the same thing in a different way. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child, will never enter it. And the key word there, I just want to say, is receive. Receive. Uh, the kingdom of God is not something that you strive for and get awarded. It's something that you get given. There's lots of people, me included, who think that if we're good enough for God, if we just please him and don't do bad stuff and do enough good stuff, then he'll accept us. That's not Christianity. Sometimes I fall into the habit of thinking that way. It doesn't stop me from being a Christian, but being a Christian is something we receive from God. It's the gift of Jesus to us and for us. Uh, and that's what we talked about last week at uh, Free to Be, the idea that the proud Pharisee, the, the rule keeper, he looked down on other people because he was proud of himself and he thought they were scumbags. But the one who was commended by God, the tax collector, the bad guy, he looked up to God and said, please forgive me, a sinner. Uh, and that's what anyone who follows Jesus does. If you've never done that, if you've never looked up to God and said, please forgive me, then Jesus is saying, that's what you need to do. Uh, if you've been a Christian for a while, what's good to remember from this passage? One, you never stop being a baby uh, in the kingdom. I'm a baby. You're a baby. We're all your leaders. We're all babies because we need God's help, his direction. He's the one who feeds us. Uh, and secondly, uh, 
that it, being a Christian is never something we stop receiving from God. Uh, it's about accepting God, accepting Jesus as our King, and accepting His direction for our life. But these are things that we receive rather than things that we earn. All right, I'm going to pray and then let you guys kick this around about what it might mean for you day to day. Let's pray now. Heavenly Father, thank you for this picture that Jesus paints of coming to you, our Heavenly Father, like little children. Uh, even though it's hard for our pride, uh, and we're sorry for the times we've been too proud, uh, we want to come to you as little ones and receive what you give us. So please forgive us. Please help us to keep receiving from you all the benefits of what it is to trust Jesus, uh, eternal life and security and hope. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thanks, Tam. Well done. Have a lolly. And let's see if I can get the last one in the basket. Oh, a bit more left. Yeah!